Well, it's a glorious morning, absolutely glorious. It was a bit windy last night. Country Park. Heading to York. Heading to York. Round Tree Park. drive straight past the waste point here because we've been on a service pitch so we don't need to enter the tanks which is always good this is an automatic barrier isn't it yeah then yeah, you can drive through it just need to drop the key off yes yeah, so we normally park over here don't we the office is still closed. Is it? Yeah. Wait, it's uh, 11 o'clock, isn't it? Well, they probably do the toilets, aren't they? Oh, yeah. They'll be in the toilets. Yeah. Right. Off we go. If you followed your sat nav it would take you down you don't want to be doing that so what we're aiming for is the swan pub uh, in in york we've set the sat nav to uh, to find that yeah it's in bishop's gate isn't it and yeah. you'll put the postcode and things on the screen yeah yeah but it's thanks to legs down isn't it for pointing out that that was the best way to go and we've we used uh, 
that route last time, didn't we? Continue straight ahead on E1036. Yeah. Yeah. So we're following Mrs. Sat now. We're following her. So we've, we've now done 176 miles in in the uh, the Bailey. Yep. And it says it's doing 26.8 miles per gallon now. And I think that'll get better as well. Yeah. But it, well, yeah, it's been really good on the on the motorway. It's uh, no problems going up the hills or no, no keeping up keeping it. up with the traffic. It's been really good. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think we're missing. Continue straight ahead. Not missing any power or anything, are we? I thought you were saying it was, it's a bit more um, responsive, didn't you? Sometimes. into York but, uh, you don't actually go into the centre there's a complicated one-way system here which uh, you have to ne negotiate to get out of York for the Swan pub and that'll be on the left somewhere. Yeah. There's the city walls aren't there on the right. City walls, yep. A travel lodge. Yeah we go around to the left there's, there's the river. The, there's the river. You arrive at destination on the left after 1000 Go over the bridge. The campsite is actually just over there. Over there, yeah, but you don't want to be on the, going along that road here. No. Well, you can't get onto that road, can you? <laughs> we could try and shoot <laughs> off the bridge. Just here, you're turning left here by the Swan onto Clementhorpe. This is where you switch the sat nav off. Yeah, because that is totally wrong. Well, it's trying to get you to the pub, isn't it? Oh, I see to the pub. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a break. <laughs> so she's not wrong, really, then, no. is she? <laughs> no, you switch her off. <laughs> Once you've got to the pub, you can switch the sat nav off. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Cut that bit out, won't you? <laughs> yeah, I'll edit that bit out. So they're getting on with the hotel here? Yeah. Done quite a bit in the month of not being here. Well you better come out in here. we were on last time. Yeah, we can't have that one then. It's busy here, isn't it? Look, it's mm. full.
someone on 42. Looking for white, yeah. yeah. These are all blue ones, aren't they? So they're not non awning pictures. But the only picture we could find was a non awning, wasn't it? It was an awning. Awning, rather. <laughs> These are all blue non awning. Yeah. Now it gives a chance to have a look around the site, doesn't it? So what, sorry? Gate? Oh, it's the gate there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we're here, right by the hotel, or the new hotel. Well, Poppy, we changed our mind, didn't we? Yeah, Poppy's got A couple of pictures just in the corner here, aren't they? There's one over here. I've got, I've got this one here. I didn't know there was a tent area here. Well, I, I don't think it's yeah time of year for that, but there is a tent area there. <laughs> right, some people think it's not that. Some people think it's not the time of year for motoring as well, don't they? <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Right, we've arrived, so just sort of getting into the swing of things with the new van. So first thing is, are we level? says all right it's about a quarter of a bubble so that says that we're uh, we're sloping that way a little bit poppy please when i'm talking thank you but we'll it get... always depends how much it is doesn't yeah, it whether depends, it's really yeah. worth yeah so we're not going to bother putting the reveling, reveling lamps up <laughs> reveling <laughs> the look of reveling lamps i think i'll stick with reveling lamps that's quite a good name for them <laughs> yeah right okay next thing is oh, Get the electric hooks up. Oh. That's it, got that out. Now I brought my roll, my roller thing for the electric. Uh, they did provide us with electric cable, but it's one of these things you end up wrapping around your arm and around your leg and yeah. get it in the right twist. So if you get you're new to motoring. This is one accessory you should really factor in. We've got some videos, haven't we? Yeah. On, on recommended recommended accessories, essential. which we'll have essential, essential up here somewhere. Yeah. 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 Uh, and there's a video on essential motorhome accessories, and this is one of them. Yeah. So I'm just yeah. going to get that hooked up now. Yeah. So it's essential to hook up this end first. Always do this end first. So what you do, you open that up like that, and you put that on there, and it goes in like that. Okay, then you unwind this. I wonder how many times I've done this. Must be thousands. <laughs> thingy unclips from there that hole wasn't big enough I had to actually cut a hole out of it there but there wasn't it never was big enough right, so this is quite high up isn't it <laughs> It'd be no use for you would it <laughs> so there's a it's like a lug there that goes in there Okay, now just push it in. Some you have to clip, you have to turn. You'd see if it was that one, it would have a red button next to it. What on this side? Uh, uh, yeah, well, one of the sides. One of the sides, yeah. There. If yeah. you see a red button, you have to push it in and turn and it until it. it clicks. So, why do you reckon these are so high up? Um, no idea. Because the site has been known to Oh, work. water, yeah. Water. Well, yeah, water's been up here, hasn't it? Yeah. 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 
gear sort of <laughs> <laughs> up to there, yeah. 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 So this is actually quite a tall post, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Oh, should be looking at me. <laughs> yeah. And tidy your cable away. So tidy your cable away. Please, please don't leave it wrapped on the on the reel like I see loads of people doing. Why should you do that? Well, because electricity creates heat. If you use a lot of power, your cable can get hot. It's in enclosed space. It gets hot. It melts, and the consequences could be disastrous. Yeah. Yeah. Particularly if you're using electric heating. Yes. Which we are doing this time yeah, of year. Yeah. But it's on sort of almost non stop, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right. I'll just tidy it so you don't trip over it. Yeah. Okay, that's first first thing that's set up. You also have to attend to your dog's needs as well when they when you arrive. So you've been barking at us and we're thinking what's wrong with her? And she wanted a drink. <laughs> right, talking of water, we thought better check how much water we've got. There's your battery 14.3, no amps. Internal temperature 19. Weight level zero, water level 36%. So we're okay. Switch the heating onto electric. Turn it onto electric two, I think. That's it. It's lovely and warm in here, isn't it? Yeah, lovely and warm. What's next then? Um, what's next? Well, aerial. we we normally fit the aerial, aerial. wouldn't we? Yeah, and the then swivel the chairs and you could swivel the chairs. Are you going to swivel the chairs? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to just show them how to swivel the chairs? Because again, some I know there's lots of people who are new who are watching this. The well, first thing we do on your side, yeah, is push the steering wheel down, don't we? Yeah. So, so there's a lever underneath. You get underneath. the column adjustment, which yeah. is. Underneath. Underneath the steering wheel, and you so like a pull out. Pull that lever. out so it clicks. And you push the steering wheel. And then you push the. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit stiff. <laughs> Let me do it. I've done it. Done it. Okay. Right. So once that's down, yeah. You then use that, don't yeah, you? Yeah. Yours, I don't need to move backwards and forwards. No. But you should always check there's not something behind the chair. Yeah, nothing behind it. Because so. we've near, when we've had Tara, we've nearly destroyed a crate, haven't we? Don't tell my sister that. <laughs> not when they're in it. She's no. in it. But I haven't moved it. <laughs> right, carry on. Goes around just like that. And that's it. So we do the same on the other side. For mine, you normally have to pull forward. Yeah. I've got it quite a way back. Yeah. Same thing. It's there. Round well, like that. No, don't, don't your yeah, cover's you, not on your here. Your cover won't work. Don't you boop. Poppy, you just have to wait a minute. And what we do then? You put a towel oh, on it. Towel on it. Just got not in the right shape. Right. Yeah. I did just boop. <laughs> <laughs> we put that up <laughs> that there, and then she can Hang go on, on there. Next thing is hook up the hook up the TV. Yeah. I mean, if we had an aerial, we'd uh, we'd put the aerial up and get that tuned in. Or the satellite. Or the satellite. Yeah, if you've got a satellite. Yeah. We've got one of these booster points here. Is that on the tall thing again? Not on the tall thing, yeah. Right, there we go. We're going to do that. See you in a bit, Poppy. Yep. Yeah. And well, that's this thing here. So, hopefully, a 
here. Plug it in that end, so it's shut, and then unwind the cable. Unwound. A bit too long, really. Isn't it? It's yeah. I mean, I think it's about 30 meters or something. I thought it was 25. 25, is it? Oh, yeah, I need a little adapter. I forgot I need an adapter for this. I'll go and get that. It screw on then. It screws on this. Yeah. It's designed for satellite signal. Yeah. So if you, if hmm? I'm probably going to ask a question. Yeah, question yeah. If you had a, you know, a satellite dish on a stand. Yeah, you could plug it in here. You could plug it in there. Yeah. Right. Just plug it into that. Job done. Well, not quite, because what else have we got to do with the TV? I've got to tune it in. I've got to do all that. <laughs> right. Right, so what do we have to do now? Here. We'll plug the TV in, so 12 volt lead, yeah. which goes on the side of the TV. I've yeah. got a short aerial lead. I could probably do with a longer one. I mean, I'll just come around here. I'm just hooking it into the, that point there. Could do with a longer lead there so I can turn the teddy around, but it'll do for now. Yeah. Okay, so, so that's it's it. just a case of turning Ch it on. Turn it on and tune it in. Right. Turn okay. on and tune in. That was a song somewhere, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, just get the table out. It just remains. <laughs> Helps if you take all the pillars off really. That's it. And the table slotted in here, isn't it? See it? Yeah. That's it. I think it showed fit in it the other day. Yeah, I think so. You sort of tilt it up. Then you drop this leg, it's on a little button thing to release it. And it goes down and then and it falls off. That, yeah. That's it. Well, once it's in place, we yeah. have problems of with. No. That's it. We're done. And then we can have a coffee. Don't we? Yeah, we might go for a little walk later. Not now though. So for us fi vital final step. <laughs> Some and coffee. arriving is coffee. Coffee. I think I'm getting used to this kitchen setup. Yeah. Because it is it's not, but let's face it, it's not huge, the, the area. No, like but it. ours, although there's perhaps a little bit more. It, no, it's, it's, I mean, you've got that flap. Yeah. This is quite nice. You can put the coffee thing yeah. there. Yeah. Um, You've got, you top, you've got to a tall cupboard here, haven't you? So that's good for sort of cornflakes and all around and that sort of thing. We've been keeping, kept the bananas in there last night, didn't we? Yeah, we didn't realise there was a, a vent. There's a vent right by the side of it, and it actually cooks the bananas. Yes. So <laughs> it's, it's not, not a good banana, banana cupboard. No. 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 So. Uh, so it's probably best to keep sort of dry stuffs in there. Yeah, I think it's mainly meant for sort of tins and yeah. perhaps even you know long pans or something. I don't know. Yeah, could be. But now, as someone said, uh, if it had a pull-out rack, I think. But yeah, yeah. So you could store tins in there because yeah. they wouldn't mind. Could they mind getting no, no, hot? No, no. I don't think so. As long as you don't cook them. <laughs> The no. bananas go soggy quite yeah, easily. Yeah, well, I'll, see what I tried to do was to remember right not to put them up there because I, we're often putting them up there in ours. Yeah, above the microwave. But above the microwave and yeah. with the same sort of hot result, yeah. hot bananas. Yeah. yeah so, so they're sitting in that cupboard there. Well, I can actually reach those cupboards because they're directly in front of me. Yeah. So that's quite You've good. You've got no extra bit there, have you? I suppose. No. You could no. have a bigger fridge, I guess, if you had a bit there, couldn't you? But, or if you had the fridge over here, like in the Cadiz. Yeah, but then you lose. I quite like this. Yeah, quite like it, because it's an open plan here. Yeah. You've got the TV there. Yeah. I suppose you put it on a swivel or something. You can watch it in the lounge then, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, coffee's ready. Right, so as we were coming along yeah. today, 
um, you asked me to look out what the speed limits are for this van which is because obviously they change don't they yeah I mean it this is un, uh, under was it 3,005 kilograms yeah it says 3.05 tons yeah 3.05 tons unladen and which is a weird thing isn't it because when the caravan and manufacturers talk about weights they talk about gross weight so that's the most it can weigh or they talk about um, MRO which is maximum um, uh, which is mass in running order and the mass in running order of this van is 2907 so whichever way you look at it this van is going to be under that 3000 3.05 3 tons yeah yeah, yeah. So what that means is that this has got um, speed limits are similar to cars, isn't cars, it? Cars, yeah, yeah. So if you buy a motorhome that's over that limit, yeah, you you're subjected to different limits. But first of all, do tell us the limits for this this van. Right. Well, obviously, built-up area is 30 miles an hour. Yeah. Uh, single carriage weighs 60 miles an hour. Right. Uh, dual carriage weighs 70 miles an hour. Yeah. Motor weighs 70 miles an hour. Yeah. Okay. And if you're over that weight, if you're over that weight, still 30 miles an hour in built-up yeah. areas. Single carriage weighs 50 miles an yeah. hour. Dual carriage weighs 60. Yeah. Motor weighs 70. 70. Yeah. So you can always do 70 on a motorway. Yeah. Uh, with both of them, but a uh, the speed for dual carriageways varies. Yeah, that's it's seventy as opposed to sixty. And the speed for single carriageways varies as yeah, well. Yeah, that's uh, sort of fifty. It's sixty. Yeah. So it's a, a consideration if you were thinking of buying a van. You know, why would you want to buy a van that's that's under or over? Um, there are license implications, and I've got a video up here somewhere about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but a simple sort of thing that you might want to consider is speed limits. If you know, if you because if you've got if you're used to driving a car, driving yeah. a van like this, it's yeah, the it's, same. It's the same. Yeah. Same speed limits. Yeah. So, so I know you know you've often tested me. We went in our van that's over over that limit yeah you know what should I be doing on a single carriageway yeah, yeah. And you have to really think I think sometimes it's actually a, a good idea just to put it on a sticker and, and stick it somewhere you know where you can see it yeah yeah, yeah. talking of stickers I know oh, yeah. better see that now yeah, we, <laughs> we put this down and there's a useful little Bailey sticker under there which tells you the uh, which tells you the length 7397 it tells you the width 2489 it tells you the height two seven five five, so yeah, I probably ought to put that on on the uh, <laughs> on the screen somewhere about here. <laughs> <laughs> Which do they tie? They do tie up with what we had in here, don't they? Yeah, 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 they do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we didn't realise that they were on there until because it was sunny. Yeah, coming along and it hasn't been before, has it? It's been yeah. wet. So you put that down. So it all looks really useful. Yeah. Yeah. What, why it's useful, particularly the height, mm. is low bridges. Yeah. You you can come up to a low bridge and you might see three meters. Can I get under that? Mm. And you have to then think, well, how tall am I? Yeah. Well, this van is two point seven five five meters. As long as you don't stick anything on top of the 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 roof, like satellite dome or something like that, you'd be fine going under a three meter barrier. And that can have an implication on car parks. Well, some car parks have three metre yeah. barriers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, some had, well, last time we were here, didn't someone tell us they saw a motorhome go under that low bridge? Yeah, yeah, the bridge you know, down there. Down I think. there. I think yeah. that's 2.9, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said they got, obviously got stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and this is 2.755. This is quite what's called, why it's called a low profile. Because it, it, it is because we haven't got a, an over cab up here. No. You know, a bed up up the top above the cab, so no. it does tend to be quite quite low. Yeah, which, but which still wouldn't like. risk going under that bridge. No. There, <laughs> not, not with someone else's van. No. <laughs> no definitely not. All right, so I think we're going to have a little walk into the town now, aren't we? No, that's tomorrow. Oh, is it tomorrow? Yeah, we're just going to have a walk to the park. All right, okay. Yeah, because it's going to get dark soon. It's about True. quarter to three. Quarter to three or so. So, no, we're going to go tomorrow to the town via the gate. Yeah, there's a little, the end of the site little gate here. just here, isn't there? Because yeah. we were way down the other end of the site last yeah. time, didn't we? So we right. just walked out the main entrance. But this okay. time we'll go out the gate and we'll see where that takes see, us. See where it takes us. Yeah, so we might get hopelessly lost all around uh, okay. York tomorrow. Right. 
That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? That'd be <laughs> worth watching. Lost in York. <laughs> see a title now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, are they coming with us? What on the on the on the walk? I don't know. Do you want them to come, Poppy? You want to bring them along? All right then. If you insist. <laughs> <laughs> see you in a bit then. Right. This is the River Ouse. Over there, under that blue bridge, is the River Foss. That's right, that's why we got confused before. Wasn't yeah. It? Yeah. Yeah, sky looks a bit threatening. It does, might not it be, Might not be out here too long. Whiz around the park. Yeah. Because Poppy's told us we've got to go. Yeah. Go on then, Pop. Just about a boy and girl Westy, haven't she? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry? Geese. Geese, where? Oh yeah, geese. There's a little uh, ramp for the ducks yeah. to get in and out of us. Uh, the pigeons are helping themselves to it. We've got this little archway here, haven't we? This is Roundtree Park. looks a little bit low. We must try and get in this cafe at some stage, the one that's up yeah, here. We've sort of come late afternoon, we? Yeah. 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 Right, that's it for today. Um, tomorrow we're gonna go into the town. Yep. And I'm just gonna settle down. It's gonna be quite cold tonight I think isn't yeah, it? About so. three degrees. Come on, Bobby. Come on, Bobby. Come on. I'm doing me end bit. <laughs> so, uh, if you like this, like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and uh, hit the notifications icon. Watch out for the swan. And watch out for the swan. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. All right. Good day, okay. <laughs> and we'll catch up with you soon. Yeah.